Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Mapping Leicester event. Uh, we're very delighted that you've joined us. Um, there are a number of people that are due to come late, and there's a number of people that are not very well today. <clears throat> I'm myself recovering from an awful flu, so you'll have to excuse my voice. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a packed schedule, and we're a little bit late to start, and that always happens, we know that, but we've got to try and catch up. So, just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, we are going to keep the doors that are directly at the stairs open in case of emergency, but you came in from, from the other doors and you need to go back through the other doors as well. It, should there be a fire, there, we will advise you if you should use the alternative stairs, but please do not use them. It is the way down the stairs and out. Um, and we'll meet you towards the park. Uh, to cross off everyone if there should be a, an emergency. Um, today we've, we have got some um, writing pads because you're going to get a lot of information and we urge you to take it down because what, we, what the whole ethos of this event and celebrate our similarities is all about is to get people together for social impact and we're really pleased that we've got such a variety of um, organizations, institutions, individuals, community members willing to come forward and work together. And this is the beginning and we intend to you know, take this forward. Um, so first of all, I'd like to thank all the sponsors who have supported us to make this happen, uh, particularly the Wesley Hall and Anita Rao. Uh, she's been wonderful. Um, I won't mention all the sponsors, you, you've seen their logos everywhere, so um, in order to catch up with time, I'll just tell you a little bit about Celebrate Our Similarities. Celebrate Our Similarities is uh, an organization that I founded in 2010, um, and I was inspired to do that by my mum, who sadly passed away in October. So I'd like to dedicate this event to my mum and a friend that's just recently passed away who wanted to come to this event. Uh, she passed away about just over three weeks ago. Um, and she's leaving, a, hopefully, a legacy for cause. And we want to help people that are actually in need if we do use her legacy funds um, eventually. Um, so, Celebrate Our Similarities is about identifying good practice examples that we all share as human beings and humanity. Um, we've adopted as uh, two themes, uh, personal peace and climate. In 2010, it wasn't in vogue to talk about peace and inner peace and all those soft things as much as we are very open to now since COVID. Um, and we're now at a stage where we'd like to move things forward. So as part of the personal peace area, Celebrate Our Similarities has adopted a very uh, impactful uh, peace education program um, developed by a um, United Nations and world recognized peace ambassador um, called Prem Rawat, um, who you know, there's a huge significance in Leicester and the element of heritage that Celebrate Our Similarities would like to pursue and connected to the, few, the, the uh, uh, um, speakers that will come up in a short time, we think we have a unique position in Leicester. Um, and in fact, in 1979, it was in this very hall is where I first, first started to hear about this message of peace which was not developed as a peace education program. It is now, you know, so many years later, having an impact to such an extent um, in turning people's lives around. And um, what we would like to do is the fact that we are the most diversely populated city in the country, as per the census, how we can harness our uniqueness and develop projects. So as part of my various other roles um, in the Canals and Rivers Trust um, 
um, volunteering for the NHS uh, mental health uh, collaborative, uh, social prescribing, uh, community champion for Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. These are all areas that are very connected in what we want to do. And the De Montfort University, having the first in history uh, international hub status for peace, justice, and strong institutions, how unique is that? How unique is our community? How unique is the fact that um, the UN um, ambassador for peace who has been awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award just last year by the Glastonbury Council um, as a historic award, happened to come to Leicester in 1971 as a, a, a teenager and filled out the Granby Halls at that time on a message of peace. We'd like to bring all of this together and actually make a, a, a case for a heritage project that can bring in all the other factors about the wonderful things Leicester has got and how Leicester has been developed. And with that, we have ideas with the city council having a priority in the waterside area and the Woolsey Island kind of area. Having worked in the council, I know the priorities. Uh, the Canals and Rivers Trust has a particular focus in Leicester. We've got the largest green flag status area in the country, 20 miles stretch. Um, and then with the DMU, proposing that we work together to develop a, a um, tourist attraction similar to what the Canals and Rivers Trust has already done in Nottingham and that level of um, impact and develop an idea around the peace education program, celebrating the work of an individual that has had an impact around the world that started his journey at a, an early age in Leicester. And we think that there is a lot of scope in that. And we would like the DMU to view this in the context of a, perhaps a, a knowledge transfer. I um, can't remember the initials, but you know what I mean. Knowledge transfer project. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so, so there are, th that's the basis on which we are bringing people together because we think that all of the issues around the NHS, the uh, social prescribing, they're all very related. Moving forward, you know, it, there's a coining a phrase, um, AC, BC, after COVID, before COVID, all of that is so different now, and we need to look at things differently. Um, so without taking any more of your time, please engage with us. Please, when we do contact you, take it seriously because there is huge potential for us to work together. Um, all I would ask now before I pass you on to the, the, the main speaker, main sponsor for this event, um, um, the De Montfort University, which we would like to specifically thank for enabling us to um, apply for uh, ECRF funding. So I thank them for that. Um, just to say that um, all of the speakers, please, if you would uh, sit nearer to the front and before the, the person before you finishes, please go over to Zach. And where's Zach? There he is. He will mic you up and they will be able to record this whole event better. If you do have any issues about the recording, we are recording it. It is live on YouTube and Twitter and all of the normal things nowadays that we do. Um, if you do have an issue about being recorded, please may I ask that you sit in that kind of direction so that our recording doesn't get affected. So thank you very much for your time and I will pass you on to our um, keynote speaker, Professor Justin Smith. He's the Creative and Heritage Industries um, Lead on, at the De Montfort University. Thank you.